Hey folks, Species7 here, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farm Sim 15 and Iron Horse Farm. Yes, indeed, we are here in the land of rock walls and hedges once again. And today, well, we're going to uh, sell our truck full of milk to start with. So we are out here at the milk store, which if we have a look on our map, you'll see is right here, just, just across from the farm. So not very far at all, right between biomass and the inn. So let's uh, back our 12,000 something liters. Yes, 12,000 liters of milk up and see what we get. Hopefully, muchos money. And there we go. Well, let's see how we do. Oh, 1,000, 2,000, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ooh, we're going to make some thick coin here. I didn't know we were going to get 10 grand worth of milk here. Or more. More, actually. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. There we go. 86. Wow. So we made about 20k in milk there. That's reasonable, let me tell you. It is indeed. No, I'm just wondering. Um, <laughs> All right, well. That was a good deal. Now, we need... Oh, not you. Oop. Whoa, that was close. I almost drove into the river. <laughs> that would not be a good thing. I just think on the way back to the farm, we should probably pull in here. And grab the trailer. Because we do have a trailer for this guy. We just hadn't picked it up yet. Oh my. There we go. Nice. Now, let's get this to the farm. <laughs> Which is just out here and around the corner. There we go. A big field of sunflowers to take down, but currently I am uh, foraging or using the forage harvester, if you will, to uh, cut one of our cornfields down for the biogas facility. And our harvester is, I believe, finishing off. Oops, this isn't where I need to be. Is finishing off the uh, canola harvest. Where I actually need to take you, sir is uh, down to the cows. Not a problem. We will do that. Doo -doo -doo. Whoa, this thing's a little sharp on the corner sometimes. <laughs> yeah, there's the rest of our canola. That's where our one harvester is. And... I believe we actually want it turned down here. There's the BGA. Okay, kind of want it turned down there. There we go. And there's one of our fields of corn. I think we're actually harvesting the one in front of us, though. This guy here. Yeah, that's the one more harvester. And the nice thing is, being so close, I can actually use the uh, forage harvester to get all of my goodies across to the BGA. I don't have to disconnect the trailer or hook it up to a tractor and do all that happy stuff. Indeed. Alright, now, I think we're still in the wrong... No, we'll be alright. We'll be alright, we just need to get rid of this thing. It's in my way. 
There we go. Alright, we're off to the beefies. Well, might as well drive on the right side of the road, make it look all legit. Bump, bump. Alright, I should be able to, I think, get through to them from over here. There's our forage harvester. Happy, happy. <laughs> nice. Okay, now let's get across these tracks. And. There we go. And over to the milk sales we shall go. Oh, good driving, dude. You didn't see the tree? <laughs> there we go. some pillage. Ooh, there is actually some stored in there. Nice. Money to be made. Whew. Might as well shut the truck off. Alright, well there was another 6,000 liter waiting for us. I actually just put the stop milk sign here. The uh, Kein Illegal Milk Verkauf. Quit stealing my milk. It's illegal. No, that's not what that means. Well, well all right. Um, so yeah, again, thanks to my wonderful viewers for answering my question. Where the heck do you put the milk sign? Well, apparently just about anywhere. As long as you sort of remember where it is, you're good to go. So right there seems to be good to go. And as well, there is apparently... Yeah. Well, I haven't noticed too bad. Uh, yeah, definitely. When I get close to this, I've got almost a 20 frame drop. So once we use that up, I'm going to be going from uh, placeable heaps to placeable piles. Apparently it doesn't cause a frame drop. So, because yeah, out here, I, well, again, it depends where you're facing. Like right now, facing this way, I'm getting about 48 frame. But uh, if I face this way, I'm only getting 30. So that's pretty much... And then as I get closer in, okay, I'm down to 28. But yeah, I get 28 facing the other way, so I don't know that that thing's causing me any grief at the moment. But not to say it won't. So, there we go. We now have our truck and trailer ready to pick up more of that. So, where I'd like to be is... In fact, though... Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Okay, uh, let's go to Harvesters. Thank you. That's the one I want to be at. Alright. As I say, we got a little bit of... Uh, we don't need the pipe out, buddy. Come on. Pipe in. There you go. So we've got the rest of this field to get through. Um, there's not much there, but I mean... In fact, I could probably send a hired hand to go up and down the field. Let's just see what's at the other side, shall we? Ah, I was going to say, do we need a straw swath? Well, seeing as it's canola, it's probably a skip at the question. But yeah, if there's enough headland up here, we might just get him to do the backy-forthy thing all by his lonesome. See how he makes out. And, oops. I may have spoken too soon. I was just going to say, oh yeah, look at that, there's lots of headroom. And then the rest of the crop pops in. <laughs> they was fooling us. Mm, yeah. Probably need one more row down this side. What about the back and forths of this way? Well, actually, I think he's probably got room to turn around. How is this hedge? Is it super, super solid or what? 
so we'll find out when we try to back through it. Ooh, not at all. So, how about for the sake of expediency, we just uh, do the happy harvest here. The happy hire of the harvest. That's the one. Perfect. So, now let's go to here. Lovely. And that is full. 60,000 liters. So let's light her up. And... Well, this part's easy enough, as there is only one way out of this field. And then we'll just have to figure out what side of what the biogas plant is actually on. Ooh. There we go. Because, uh... <laughs> of course, it's one of those things where... Even though you know where it is, that doesn't necessarily mean you'll be able to get there from here. I do believe it's that way around the other side of our field. I hope. Oops, let's try this instead. Let's turn the time back down. Um, yeah. This is just fine. Slow down for the speed bump. Bump, bump, bump. I suppose we can tuck, <coughs> excuse me, tuck the pipe away. There we go. And, uh, as we are on the road, after all, we should probably have our beacons running. Alright, so there's the biogas. All we gotta do is figure out where the entrance is. And it seems to me, it seems to me, that it's actually around the next block. I know, it seems like all weird and not intuitive, but that's kind of this map. If there's a way into a field, it's not where you think it was. Aha, uh -huh, see? This is the way in. Because I did, the, I, I've done this here before, tried to find a way in here, only to realize the entire thing is surrounded by a rock wall, except right here. This is our way in. And... Beautiful. Ta-da! We're gonna go with bunker number one. Just want to see how far this tip symbol actually goes back here on this bunker. Wow, this is a big bunker. All right, well, <laughs> apparently it goes right to the back. Wow. Okay, there it's disappeared, so, right from there. Oh no, it won't let me go forward. Stop tipping. Um, I have to engage these, see if we can go forward a bit. No? Holy. Um, okay, I know what we need to do here. We need to drop that. There we go. And give it a push. There we go. Now we can pick it back up. And we dump the rest of it. Alrighty. Well, not quite as smooth as I'd hoped, but hey. <laughs> we did manage it in the long run. So there's our first little scoop of that. Lovely. Yeah, straight down the road and away we go. I think actually we can probably dive back into field eight from this end. No guarantees. But if that hedge isn't quite all that's cracked up to be, we might be able to just poke our nose through here. Because quite frankly, the condition of hedges doesn't really bother me. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Well, we were granted over on the other side somewhere, but you know what? I 
I'm not so much a care. Not so very much. Uh, it looks like for some reason our harvester has stopped at 60%. I think we're probably going to have to go and have a little look at him. Yeah, definitely stopped at 60%. So, oh no, 61% must have been just turning a corner. Cool, we can let him go. Always nice to know. So what else have we got going on? Well, <laughs> to be honest with you, not much. We've got to, uh, got to get this silage. I've got two whole fields, although one we might actually do uh, a little bit of the corn harvest as corn. We've also got a sunflower field that needs done, but we'll need the other harvester for that. Um, once it's finished the canola, I'll switch up the heads and we'll uh, get her started on sunflowers. And as I say, in the meantime, well, I've got uh, field 8 is just absolutely full of corn, and I believe so is field... Uh, Oh, might well be field 9 is also full of corn. Hmm. <coughs> yeah. Or it may be field 39. No, I think that's one of the ones we originally owned. So, yeah. <laughs> and this is one of these fields that I don't think will ever be suitable for a hired worker. We might be able to auto-combine it. But it is pretty complex. You know, it looks simple enough, but boy, some of the patterns on it are just crazy. And plus, auto combine, I don't think is going to go quite right here. Because uh, I would think it would have no way of knowing when that little trailer is full. Well, a little trailer. I guess 60,000 liters puts you above the realm of a little, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, I don't know that it would actually know if it was full or not. We might try it, but, uh, oh, this is where I ended off last time. <laughs> See how smooth that strip stops, eh? Hmm, okay. There we go. <laughs> Into the next row. So as you can see, guys, I do have my work cut out for me here. 84% uh, on the harvester, eh? I think we'll quickly pop over there and see how that's going. Um, yeah, I'm curious. If we pop up... Oh, I changed it. L, I believe. There we go. Uh, circles? Yeah. Uh, no, we want you to go this way. Unload mode? No. Um, hmm. <coughs> On. No. Okay, so it doesn't seem to want to be, uh... Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to be working for this, and that's fine. That is fine. I will simply dit myself. I missed a stalk of corn. I'm so ashamed. 92% <laughs> on the harvester. Wow, it's doing good doing really good. Yeah, there's our other uh, field of corn, I believe. So we have lots of this. We should be able to uh, get more than enough in to at least throw the cover up on one silo. So. Hmm. This is kind of, uh, well, I don't know what we'll do here. come in from the end and pretend that's actually a row. So we will. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to uh, continue on with this. It uh, doesn't get much more thrilling than this, I'm afraid. We're going to get the rest of this car corn down and into our biogas. 
and go from there. Like I said, I got two huge fields of it. I'll get the rest of the canola dealt with, which is going to come up any second. There we go. He's now full. So I'm going to have to go deal with that. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll uh, spend a few episodes. Back. There he is right there. A few episodes here back on Iron Horse before we go back over to uh, Berenshen. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. If you do, please hit the like button. It helps my channel out immensely. And uh, feel free to leave lots of comments, guys. Anything you want to see, any games you've noticed, you went, geez, I'd like to see somebody else try that before I spend my money on it. Comments are good for that as well. Uh, feel free to share and favorite, of course. That helps. And uh, above all, well, this has been PC7 for Farm Sim 15 on the Iron Horse Farm. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.